de-aging using the copycat node in Nuke. Now that we have our frames for our input as well as our ground truth, we will import those into our Nuke comp using an append clip node to create a sequence. Now we can use a crop node to crop to see only the areas in which we are affecting between the ground truth and the input keyframes. Then we can create keyframes for all of the knobs and make adjustments for every single frame inside of our sequence. Now you can simply just copy that crop node so that way both the input and the ground truth have the same crop settings. Once the copycat node is plugged in, we can go over some of the settings to use for our copycat. Our epochs are the amount of iterations that our model will go through during the training process. Under advanced, we will see the model size at which the quality of our AI model will be created and the crop size, which is the size of the patterns that you are trying to recognize inside of your ground truths. 